greetings from Dr. V. N. Bedekar Institute of Management. Uh, I would love to introduce myself as a professor of happiness. Uh, I am Nitin Joshi. We are uh, here to spread happiness by virtue of education, by vir- virtue of transparency, by virtue of sincerity and by virtue of hard work. Based on my experience of last 15 years, I have realized that when we talk about uh, education uh, in India, uh, people have been uh, seeing education as a very difficult job and especially when we talk about the students, they feel that it is extremely, extremely difficult and for them to concentrate in this uh, world where, which is flooded and bombarded by it, uh, they are finding it extremely difficult. So when we talk about happiness, we are saying that can we be more engaging, can we be more helping, can we be creating an environment where we talk about learning, thinking, uh, can we create an environment where we talk about exploring yourself, evaluating yourself and then excelling in life. So this is uh, the thought which comes to my mind when I talk about uh, being professor of happiness and definitely when you talk about professor of happiness, it is not about uh, saying that you, know, you, you are only talking about fun, but I am saying that unless and until there is a fun element today in the education, it will be extremely difficult for uh, adults to be continuously in the system. Amount of distraction through the media, through the WhatsApp, through the Facebook is so much that uh, it is difficult for a teacher to close their minds. So it is let us allow their minds to be on, uh, let us connect with them better and let us create an environment which is so positive for learning. So this is uh, the whole uh, thought which uh, drives me uh, into the system and this is the whole thought which drives our institute also as a uh, uh, thought process. Very happy to share with you that uh, I was born in Madhya Pradesh uh, in uh, a district called Dhar on 30th of November 1970. Blessed with wonderful parents uh, who have helped me groomed uh, as honest, sincere and hardworking guy. Uh, enjoyed my schooling at uh, St. Joseph's Convent where I had uh, all the development part, the extracurricular activities, the education part of it. Did my engineering from uh, the prestigious Pune University. Uh, did my masters in engineering from another prestigious institution called SGS ITS Indore, which is one of the most uh, renowned institutions in Madhya Pradesh. Uh, thankfully did my um, PhD in management uh, which is into more of a green consumer and green marketing domain from uh, Devi Ahilya Vishwadhyala Indor uh, which is a state government uh, university. Uh, again a uh, four, four star rated university. So thankfully uh, had a good academic uh, career when you talk about or academic background when you talk about being into education uh, and when you talk about ME especially uh, I did uh, after a gap of say 10 years. Uh, but when you talk about the learning part of it, I think the most of my learning happened uh, during my master's in engineering and uh, happened to be a uh, ranked holder. When it, so this is what uh, I was. Uh, when you talk about the sports part of it, I did uh, represent uh, uh, Khandwa district when you talk about uh, uh, the badminton as a game and uh, uh, divisional level uh, badminton uh, tournaments and uh, uh, winners in a lot of uh, other activities of cricket and football. I have been uh, a good tabla player, have cleared a lot of things from uh, Gandharva Mahavidyalay, around five examinations which is like Prathama, Madhyama and all. Uh, so uh, an overall development, uh, thanks, uh, a big thanks to my parents for all that. Then started my career uh, with one of the uh, strongest uh, sales uh, organization called ATCO, which, is into, which was into electronic weighing balance company and uh, they created a sales person out of me. Uh, let me be very honest and a big thanks to uh, the vice president at that time, Dr. P.K. Roy, uh, who, uh, who actually uh, you know, uh, shaped or developed uh, a sales guy out of me and uh, learned uh, e- extremely hard uh, how to sell uh, because uh, when I grew, I thought that I was a very introvert personality but then later I realized that, oh, it is difficult and different uh, life and uh, probably uh, selling is which, is, which comes so naturally to me. And then uh, I moved to Data Pro Information Technology Limited as uh, we moved on to technology. Uh, journey continued and I was with uh, Multi Commodity Exchange, ITNT and uh, last but not the least uh, before uh, shifting from industry to academics, I joined Sri Vaishno Institute of Management at Indore uh, where I completed my PhD as well. Before that I was in Bombay but uh, I thought that probably you know, life in Bombay will be difficult and you know, it, it, it won't be supporting when we talk about the family part of it. But uh, when I realized, I went back to Indore, I did my uh, PhD and all, I thought uh, there is no place uh, other than Bombay which can help me develop and grow. So I came back uh, and the journey began uh, at a multi-community exchange and uh, it was a great journey there. I happened to move across the country. I uh, visited a lot of IIMs and then uh, I thought that probably the journey for me is not into industry, it has to be in education. 
Uh, again, thanks to Principal Ellen Wellington Staff Management, which uh, gave me a fantastic opportunity to start, uh, restart rather, uh, my academic career. And uh, uh, spent or explored and learned all the facets of education in terms of corporate education, in terms of management development program, in terms of consultancy, sales training programs, and of course, a lot of delivering sessions to students. Uh, so overall development happened there, uh, and thanks to Dr. Uday Sarunke, who really uh, garnered me when you talk about the leadership aspects and a uh, lot of other uh, thought processes in terms of having a good vision and a lot of clarity of vision rather. Uh, the journey came, uh, the journey took a different turn when I uh, joined uh, Dr. V and Bedekar Institute of Management as professor here in uh, marketing and operations and uh, now probably again um, an, uh, an institution where I had all the opportunity to develop this institution. So being a professor, I, I could do, I could uh, get some consulting projects for this institution, got some MDPs. And then um, thanks to uh, the Almighty which created a position here for the director and uh, uh, the top management decided that can they entrust me with this uh, big responsibility and they did that, uh, they believed me and thankfully I became uh, the director uh, last two, I mean since two years back and uh, I think I am enjoying this position, I am uh, I think help the institution grow, I am helping the institution grow, I am help, uh, I am trying to uh, leverage the potential uh, uh, in Thane uh, and especially uh, the uh, the kind of students which we get, I think there is uh, Im Im immense opportunity for us to work on them, work with them, work very closely with them because they are more emotional. We have enough of learning from them and this is where uh, we are talking about uh, how Dr. V and Bedekar Institute of Management is repositioning itself to uh, cater to Thane as a uh, place or district and uh, probably we wish to be uh, as the institute of choice when you talk about management education in Thane.